Hi everybody and welcome to Welcome to my first ever championship match of the Dominion League. This is season 41 and we're playing against Mick Sinog. And we've got a new microphone, so hopefully you won't have issues with the audio anymore. Also, we will be recording this in my native, my laptop's native resolution of 1080p. Did some testing and changed some settings and I think it should work. Oh, I hope it will. All right, so we need to win this for the two to win the the championship because Mick um, goes into this with a two game advantage from the regular season, which is also why we will be starting this first game. All right, so what have we got here? Um, here's the the kingdom view. Um, so we can play like a grand market stack with we can open trading post if we want to like gear gear trading post and I think that's good right I think we probably want to do it gear is also fine I mean there's no actions but we can set stuff aside with the with the gear and don't see anything more appealing than that you could of course go for supplies or something like that let's start with the gear and then we buy a trading post as well and we'll be looking to Gain lots of grand markets. Um, you could probably add a quarry at some point because that's gonna make buying lots of grand markets easier. So I think on our next four, we're gonna be buying a quarry, and also supplies seem also kind of nice here. He goes for the trading post as well. All right. This is excellent. We see the trading post right away. I think this should be supplies, right? We don't want another gear. Otherwise, we won't be playing our trading post anymore. So let's get the let's get the supplies. Here, I think we're going to be setting aside two coppers and buying a quarry. He goes for a spice merchant. That's interesting. Hmm. That's a nice idea, actually. Maybe we want to do that too. Glad he showed it to us. <laughs> yeah, let's get a spice merchant too. It's going to be pretty useful, I think. That's a good thing about Dominion. If your opponent does something you good, you can just copy it <laughs> if you want to. Oh, nice, we find a trading post. And what should this be? Probably quarry. Could also be a baker, but quarry is gonna help us more, isn't it? Definitely want one. Hmm. Or should it be baker here? So we're more likely to draw our stuff. Maybe we get the quarry later. Hmm. Difficult decision. So next turn there's horse. We're not that likely to draw through. Uh, let's get the quarry now. I don't know about the baker. And we really want it make grand markets cheaper we 
could even think about getting a second one. We'll have to see oh, what opportunities we're presented with. So it's been going pretty even for us so far. He's bought the quarry a bit earlier. Maybe he didn't find his trading post here. Otherwise, I would assume he'd already have played it. Um, and he also has only trashed one estate so far. So those are some plus points for us. Also, we're gonna be the first ones to start on these grand markets probably. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna set the quarry aside, right? And maybe even buy a second one. What's down there? Um, is there a copper down there? We trashed one so far. I can't be quite right, can it? We trashed two coppers, so three. So there's no copper down there. So maybe we want to save one um, just so we can play the spice merchant. I guess, nah, we're, we're gonna draw one anyway, right? We set aside a state quarry, put a horse on top, buy baker. Um, playing the horse will guarantee we draw a copper. What did he buy? Another quarry. Okay, here we get to buy our first grand market, which is great. Um, don't have a buy yet, but now we do, which we would really like to find now. <coughs> of course, there's way of the monkey, so we could have had a buy, but we preferred playing the trading post, right, for sure. <clears throat> now we might want to get our second quarry. Oh, let's hope to find the grand market. Oh, we did. That's great. Maybe this should be a buy. Um, let's see, we've got um, eight. Um huh. We could also play this set aside and buy Grand Market Quarry spending two coffers. I think that's fine, right? And then next turn we can buy more Grand Markets. Hmm. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Oh, there's even another silver we forgot about, so don't even have to spend. Uh, and also the, the quarry effect, right? Hmm, do we really want a second quarry? Or is it enough to just get two grand markets here? Let's say we get two grand markets. Next turn, we're gonna have four coins more. We can then probably buy four, right? So we won't make a lot of use of the other quarry. So let's just go straight for it, I think. And skip the, the second quarry. He didn't find his buy, which is great news to us. Here we can probably now trading post away, copper and spice merchant. Oh, excellent. 
we do that. Uh, maybe we should have thought about this a bit. Let's see. Mm. We're gonna have four buys and 12. 14, 16, yeah, that's enough for four grand markets, and then we're pretty much golden, I would say. Yeah. And now we're in a pretty commanding position. It's just these kind of boards, you got really, it's really player one favored, right? Because we're the first ones to to go for this grand market stack. You can of course add some more bakers now, they are really cheap. We're just gonna be going in for provinces now and add some bakers if we can afford to. Um, Here I think we draw and set aside. Um, there should be two silvers down there. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so this is 20. Uh, could be 16. Well, 18. Yeah, we set aside like this. Buy two provinces and a baker spending a coffer. That sounds good. Um, is there something else we would prefer to buy? Could also be a supplies. Hmm. Now let's get a baker here. Um, will we be able to triple next turn? The baker pays for itself. We get one more coffer. We should be able to draw everything. I ho well, no, not necessarily. Maybe it just supplies over Baker after all, uh, just to save the coffer. He's been trying pretty badly. This this game has always got these half turns. Um, all right, this is twenty twenty five. Uh, just gonna play this as way of the monkey. And we can triple, and that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're pretty much one here, and there's really nothing he can do. He's player two, he's had bad draws, so not really his fault. This game was pretty much unwinnable for him from just how it played out, I mean. Doesn't seem like there was anything he could have done. Um, is this enough? No, it's not enough. I think now it should be enough. Yep. 
All right, nice. Uh, we get the first win on our start. Always nice. Gonna change player order and see what the next one will bring us. Okay. There's hunting grounds. Orchard. Coin of the realm. You can grave rob stuff. Oh, let's let's show the the kingdom view here. Um. Guess you're just gonna be playing with some hunting grounds. Druid isn't too exciting. What are we gonna open? Bounty hunter and something. <coughs> Could be bounty hunter. Monastery, but maybe we want a monastery later. Could be just bounty hunter silver. Um, getting the monastery later seems well is there any way we can get additional gains quick well we can gain silvers basically with squires or druids mm. Guess we're just gonna be playing a deck with some hunting grounds, squires. Maybe we can open Druid Bounty Hunter. Or should it just be silver? Get the hunting grounds. Yeah, probably. We get Druid or Squire on our next shuffle. Or maybe we get we get a coin, something like that. Mm. Do we want a second bounty hunter? And skip mon monastery. Uh, it might be all right since there's shelters, right? Hmm. Yeah, get the trashing going. Let's let's play with the second bounty hunter guy. Uh, maybe we can skip the monastery. Our Bounty Hunter missed, which sucks. Um, what should this be? Squire, I guess. Yeah. Okay, here we can buy a hunting grounds. Um. Gets a coin. We're gonna want one as well. Man, our draws. Well, at least our junk misses, but um, not ideal this game. Of course, um, as I said, he also had pretty bad draws last game. So, just evens out, right?
But this is probably gonna mean our bounty hunters aren't gonna make coins um, next shuffle, right? Because we won't have uniques to set aside or distinct. I mean, well, stuff that's not in our exile mat. At least his hunting grounds. Well, maybe he didn't miss. He could s still play this for action and play it. We're gonna get one coin. We wanna get one down, I think. And there's his hunting grounds. Alright. Do we want another silver? I think it's fine. And get another squire. I guess we're gonna exile the silver just to be able to buy hunting grounds here. Yep. We're gonna play this, I think. I really want to. I uh, hope we don't draw our other hunting grounds. Gets hunting grounds and maybe another squire. Monastery. Yeah, might still be worth it, right? To get rid of the coppers. Okay, this is nice. Um, maybe shouldn't have played this, all of this, but it's fine. Let's get another squire. Doesn't looking too bad, the starting hand. <coughs> We're gonna get rid of the necropolis. It's got lots of hunting grounds, four. Um well let's exile this and probably don't want more silvers right now. Let's get hunting grounds and another coin. We would like to have another coin down. Oh, we did find our hunting grounds, which is really good for us. Don't think we need the monastery. Well, he only has one bounty hunter too, so for him it makes more sense, right? Will he get more hunting grounds, maybe? Could like go hunting grounds, grave robber, maybe. Yeah, because grave trashing the hunting grounds gonna be nice. Eh, we're not gonna call here, are we? We want the coin down. Let's get another hunting grounds. We're gonna end up like four to six on the hunting grounds, I guess. Let's 
still only has two squires, but of course, I guess coin is just a better village. You don't need that many squires. He can get one later for the ore card points. We do want a grave robber as well. See if he's already gonna start um, grave robbing the hunting grounds into provinces. Oh, okay. Bounty hunter into hunting grounds. Well, he won't. Well, setting provinces aside is gonna be nice, but he can just gain gain that guy back. Maybe he's gonna get two more grave robbers? No. Did he find his monastery? We hope he didn't. Uh, he probably did, otherwise he wouldn't have this decision, would he? There's some alternative plan for us where we do something crazy. Hmm. I think we're really gonna only gonna need one squire for buy. Um, gonna be setting this aside. Um, we can set one copper aside and buy two grave robbers. Let's do that. Like I'm, I'm thinking, is there? Some way for us to go into state pilot or something like that. <laughs> Problem is, we need a third pile as well. Could grave rob two hunting grounds, but that's already then we can't draw. And then we still need to buy four squires and two estates. Maybe there is something we can do with silk roads, but I don't I, I don't see anything right now. Also sad for the silk roads that we have shelters, right? Interesting. Um. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice finish by him. Nice finish that you found. Really cool trick with the monastery. Um. 
guess that's one benefit of the monastery, right? You can you can do this stuff. I thought there wasn't a way for him to pile out because he only had one grave robber, but the monastery was enough. Really nicely done. All right, one one. What have you got here? You've got a way of the horse, which well we don't have four three, but could have been nudging us towards opening nomad camp. Coins are our village. Replace is replace is the the trashing. I think we're gonna open silver nomad camp. And we can either play the nomad nomad camp or horse it. Let's do that. Uh, I guess coins are gonna be important to have some amount of so you can well there's also royal carriage so never mind you can also use that as village Hagler well there's oh no no Hagler is nice right with way of the horse it's you can just gain stuff you basically it's basically a horse mach machine um should be horse this Hmm. There's some well if we draw two estates here we will have five on our next turn, right? So there's really no risk involved. Yeah, so let's horse this. So we get through this shuffle faster. He didn't horse his nomad camp. Fortunately he did miss five. Just another nomad camp, all right. So let's get the replace here. Would have preferred to draw exactly five there so we can buy another nomad camp. Guess this is gonna be either patrician or pearl diver with plans of horsing them. Doesn't really matter, does it? We're gonna horse them anyway. Let's horse this guy. And here, we trash for a, I guess, a nomad camp. I mean, it's gonna go on top anyway. Get a nomad camp and a patrician. Um, should we horse this? I think not. We just buy, replace patrician, or replace a uh, coin. We want a village now, don't we? Definitely want a second replace to get rid of those coppers and they can also be horses. Nomad camp in the catacombs. I would assume he does have his coin in hand. Nope. Well, I mean, you can just play it and draw everything. Yeah, let's get replace and coin. It's a little sad. Um, let's get another nomad camp. Well, do we want to just horse this? 
we're gonna see at the worst we horse it yeah here we just horse it and now we want a haggler I think because that trick that he just did is really nice where we wanna be copying that maybe we shouldn't horse this patrician there's um a good amount of fives in our deck now well three but those aren't too bad odds to draw right and we don't wanna remove all the cards from our deck constantly He does have his coin down. Um, oh, it was here already two turns ago. All right. So a good turn for him here. Really good turn. Estate into, I guess, nomad camp or maybe something else. Patrician, all right. It's going hard on the coins. Um, what should this be? Just replace into Patrician Nomad Camp, maybe. Don't know why he wants that many coins. Two fives down there, so let's play the patrician as normal. Really want a catacombs as well now. Yeah, this is really strong, this haggler gaining nomad camps. It's just putting a horse on top of your deck essentially should we should we play this first I guess we should right Alright, I guess we horse this nomad camp, we really wanna draw the haggler, we're gonna get it back right. And we replace into a patrician. Call here. And we do this catacombs. You could also gain a second haggler. Maybe that's too greedy. Yeah, let's get draw first, right? Let's get catacombs, nomad camp. Oh, this is a really great looking looking starting hand. It's a cool board. Way of the horse allowing us to do some really funky stuff. Guess we should play the nomad camp first again.
We do need more coins now, I think, to play all of our terminals. Could also do it by playing royal carriages, of course. But with coins, it's gonna be a little easier. And at some point, we add more hagglers. Now let's replace. Oh no, it doesn't. Well, we play this patrician now. Okay, there's the catacombs on top. Eh. Replacing now, we won't be able to buy a 5, but well, that's just what it is, I guess. Let's replace into patrician coin. Nah, not, not now. Let's not get a coin down now. <coughs> just two patricians, I guess. Oh, we would really like... Uh, yeah, this wasn't great. You should have done this differently. You really should have. Let's get silver coin here. All right, there's the catacombs. And he's got four catacombs, which is worrying. Um, there should be junk down there, right? Maybe we play one of these as, as horse first and then we play the catacombs. He's got six colonnade points as well now. Which I don't know if it will be re relevant, but maybe. still have a nomad camp. I don't think we do. No, here's the, the nomad camp. So I think this should all be junk, right? So we play one of these as horse. So we can toss the, the junk out of our shuffle. We aren't like as far ahead in trashing or anything as we would like to be of two replaces. Mm, is this gonna be another haggler for him? Nope, just more catacombs, nomad camp, all right. Uh, so let's play this now. Um, discarded, right? We wanna get to our good stuff. Um, 
because now we replace into coin first. We wanna really wanna get two down. There's patrician and replace on top, which which we're just gonna leave there. Now should this be a second haggler or is that too early? Yeah, it's too early. We can just gain and play the haggler with replace. So let's rather do that and just catacombs, nomad camp here. He does have a lot of catacombs. <coughs> Piles are also starting to get somewhat low. But that can change, right? <laughs> we just, we're just gonna be putting some stuff back. I think he has six coins now, which is alright with us. Uh, we can just use royal carriages. We need more actions. Okay, uh, let's horse this first. We're not gonna be playing it. Terminally, I mean. Um, maybe we're gonna be throwing away that copper. So maybe here we just put Royal Carriage Haggler on top. There's another Catacombs down there, which we can leave there. Um, well, we do want to get to our coin, don't we? Hmm. We don't need to leave the catacombs down there. Um, so how do we best do it? Replace into carriage, then we draw. If there's coin on top we can draw again. draw. Yep, there's the coin. Um, so now we replace silver. Um, to gain a haggler. We call the coin. We're gonna be drawing the thing, but that's fine. We want the coins down. Maybe just more hagglers now. Right, it's gonna give us pile control and we're drawing nicely anyway. Huh. Could 
could be Hagler for two nomad camps that we put on top. Let's go with another Hagler. We might want to keep one of these. It would be nice to have another buy now. Oh, he did return a Hagler, so he, he must have had a really bad hand there. Didn't find any of his five catacombs. Well, yeah, he didn't, so that's great news for us. Let's play one of these. All right, there's a catacombs. Another one. Let's play it. Yeah, we take that and we carriage the patrician I believe um. there's a copper there mm. We do want to get the other coin down, so we're going to play it like this. Well, what's down there? Coin and Haggler. How many more actions can we play? We can call once more. That's five actions. Maybe we ditch the catacombs. Um. So let's do copper into patrician. Um. We draw with the Nomad camp. We replace catacombs into Nomad camp Emporium. We need to ditch the patrician. And well, this is it could be ten. So I guess we're gonna not play one of the hagglers. Um, could be just more carriages, which I think is gonna be good. Yeah, just two carriages and nomad camps. Maybe he can then finish. Hmm. But I don't know if there's a way for us. Well, doesn't have to be nomad camps, right? Let's go nomad 
one nomad camp and like two pearl divers. Um, one more nomad camp seems risky with catacombs. Well, let's see what you got. It's like one replace. No, I think it's fine. Might not have been fine enough. Well, I think he's gonna put some back. Doesn't he? We are way thinner. We have he's only trashed two coppers and we have trashed five. Um, so the re double replace seems to have paid off in the end. Of course he did that last turn. So that put him back. Let's see, maybe we left a repile, but there was no way for me to calculate that. No way for us. I mean, he can't like carriage replace, and he only has. Well, he has two hagglers. I don't know. Don't think he can. Oh, maybe he can. Yep. Damn it. All right. We gained one too many. One too many um, things. One too many nomad camps. Yeah, that. Hmm. That just wasn't good. Because I think we were in a pretty good spot otherwise. So that was just a throw, unfortunately. Well, let's see what we can do here. So this has amulet, bounty hunter. It has Grying Pool, it has Replace, it has Haggler. Haggler doesn't play too nicely with Scrying Pool, unfortunately. It also has Ghost, Haunted Mirror. Um, just gonna camel this. I think we want an amulet, right? Amulet bounty hunter seems nice. Seems like a nice opening. Don't know if we ever wanna get that gold. What are we gonna be doing here? could be replacing golds into provinces using treasurer to gain them back and probably still play with some scrying pools um, we're gonna be trashing here 
Should this be another amulet? Should it be a market square? Hmm. Market square could be nice in that it might allow us to buy scrying pool and something else. Don't know if another amulet is gonna lead to us over trashing. There's also replace which we wanna use later. Well, we can also replace the surplus amulet. So let's get another amulet here. Hope we can draw the bounty hunter here. Camels away, another gold. All right, there it is. Um, now should this be potion? Or maybe a five cost? We do want the scrying pools at some point. Could also be like a lost city. Uh, delay the potion by one more turn. Or maybe we then even go Hagler into potion. Hmm. We don't want a market square at some point. Yeah, I don't know. The potion now seems... <sighs> Is the scrying pool really gonna do a lot for us now? That's my question. Let's get a lost city now. Now we get a market square. Maybe this should be potion. Now let's trash. Let's trash. Now we'll get a potion once we get the chance. Uh, we're gonna play this right. Um, well, I guess here we should discard for gold. Or maybe we do that next turn. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it next turn, get a bit thinner still. We could gain a ghost here. We can also do it next turn. Um. Let's do it next turn. Just get really thin. Oh, we didn't have a copper out. So that's excellent. Now we can buy a potion. We miss our stuff here, which is a little sad. Well, we can gain the ghost now, right? We just discard the amu amulet. Okay. 
So where are we at? He's ahead in the scrying pool business. Which we might regret. We're gonna see. Um, we are more trashed, aren't we? Well, not exactly. I mean, he's basically we've got a lost city and he's got a scrying pool, right? He also gets his golds from exile. Yeah, that's a really great turn for him. Really hope to find our our scrying pool here, or the potion. Exiles a gold again. Well, it's out of the deck for next turn, and he can get it back mid turn, which is nice. Yeah, replace we want we want one as well. Um this isn't great. Guess we're gonna have to exile the amulet and buy a replace camel this. And this one's un at least gonna hit our scrying pool. But it seems like we're gonna get in a lot of trouble with the scrying pool split. Maybe we can make it work with like three of them. What do we have down there? Copper Bounty Hunter. Yeah, so here we're gonna draw and we're gonna get the golds out of exile. Yeah, not having not having the he gets the treasure. Yeah, to get the to get the golds back from exile makes a lot of sense. I think we're gonna get in trouble here, just because he'll have many more scrying pools than we do. He did keep his necropolis. Oh yeah, 
That's something I overlooked. We can do the multi ghost stuff here. Um, so we really want to do this treasure thing as well now. So he does draw us. Um, well, he can keep that. Right. Um, now, do we want to camel this? Would really like to gain and play this treasure, right? Um, just to get the haunted mirror. Now we're gonna play it. Hmm. We can camel it right now. Nah, no, no, we wanna. Yeah, let's camel. Let's camel. We replace the bounty hunter into treasure. We draw it. Um. We don't discard. Um, we can do the ghost stuff now. Well, actually, we could discard, but we can do it next turn. Um, we, we can still discard here, right? Now we have to discard it for the ghost, right? So we couldn't have couldn't have discarded. Oh, actually, uh, let's not gain the ghost now, right? Ah, oh, this is tough. So let's do it like this. We do coin and we go scrying pool, last city, I think. Well, maybe he's gonna draw us the haunted mirror, which would be nice, so our amulet can trash it if he gains another lost city. That would be great. Man, this one is really complicated to build, I feel. Don't know if we've done a good enough job at that. Again, I forgot to bring up the kingdom view. So here is it. Here it is, mid game. Yeah, that, 
that throw last game was just really bad. Would be in a much better spot now if we hadn't done that. But it's past now. Let's try to win this one. But this one is gonna be a lot harder to win, I think. Well, this is gonna be a lost city. Do it. I know you want it. Come on. Nope. Well, he can still gain one. Still can. Probably doesn't need one raid. That's a problem. I guess with the ghosts we can somewhat work around the fact that we have less crying pools but we do seem to be behind all in all like he's playing to replace us already um, he's also gonna be playing two ghosts this turn um, if he can draw that ghost, but I think he can, right? He's got a market square left and also a scrying pool. Keeping the necropolis has worked out really nicely for him. It's been put to good use. Oh, provinces, yeah. It's probably gonna end soon, isn't it? Lost city now? Nope. Ah, uh, he's gonna he's gonna go to the place. Oh, come on, lost city. Oh, nice. All right. At least we can do this now. Um, you wanna discard for haunted mirror? Um, play one of these now. Mm, what's on top? Our potion raid. Mm. Ah, we aren't drawing nearly well enough, are we? Guess we're gonna be doing this. Uh, now we discard. We have like Market Square and Market Square and Ghost there. Where 
where is I'm confused. We have two ghosts. He has two as well, right? Yeah, I was confused earlier. Mm, do we play this pool now? Okay, there's the market square. Uh, he can top deck that. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter anyway, right? Maybe it's gonna block him. Um. So, what now? Uh, maybe this should be ghost replace as well. Put the replace on top. We ghosts crying pool replace. Let's actually put a last city on top, right? And then we buy a scrying pool, replace. Oh, it doesn't matter. We can also buy a scrying pool, last city. Yeah, and we want to get ghost to replace, right? Alright. Maybe we can work with that. It is nice to have two ghosts down here. Um, but we might have trouble drawing. See how many provinces he can get. Probably a lot. Well, maybe he might be able to like mill to. Oh, he doesn't want to mill, right? But he might be able to replace twice and buy two. Um, seems like it should be possible for him. Don't know how many goals he has left. He can get some from exile. Let's see. Gains a gold, which means he can discard now. Which. If he gets four provinces here, it's gonna be trouble for us. Don't know if there's gonna be anything we can do okay 
Okay, so he trashes a potion. Well, makes sense. He can do one more time. You'd rather have the displaced than the potion at, at this point. Yeah, if he buys two more, we're pretty screwed, I think. Yeah. There's like... There's no way we can get three provinces and four duchies is there. So we're gonna have to hope for a dot, basically. Um. Which what's an art discard? Gold and three curses, right? Guess we need some more replaces. also like to gain and play a ghost this turn in that case and maybe buy a scrying pool as well I think we keep the potion one more turn. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe we just camel this guy. Well, one can be gold to replace for sure. And I think the other is gonna be camel. Now we gain the this thing. Guess we just replace it into on a state. Uh, what would we rather this card? Lost City or Scrying Pool, I guess Lost City. Oh, that was a nice draw for sure. Um, think we would like to draw the curses so we can cemetery them. And we would also like to draw the ghost, there it is. There's another lost city even. Um, Uh, 
Now we cemetery the curses, which we can't discard, unfortunately. Um, because we want the buy. Um, and what do we want to buy? Province Grind Pool. If you can gain two provinces, we're dead anyway, I think. Or should it be Replace Grind Pool? Uh, we wanna. We don't wanna gain a. Yeah, province grind pool. I guess it is. We really wanna hit the scrying pool with our ghost. And I guess this one trashes as well. gonna be province I guess it is so let's hope he does it's not really likely is it oh ghost nice well maybe it's he can just buy it Oof. all right let's see let's see what we can do Let's see what we can do here. 30 points. We gotta catch up. Probably still. I mean, we have three replaces. Um, do we wanna leave that? No. Um, so what now? We have three replaces. Let's say we play them four province and two duchies. That puts him down three points. He said 34. We will be at 19. That's still not enough, right? Thirty four. We're at nineteen. We need fifteen more. But we can't do that with just two buys, unfortunately. So these will just have to be Duchies. It's really unlikely he does again. So what now? Province, Dachi Dachi. There's just... I guess we're gonna go for duchies and hope for the best. Maybe buy the last scrying pool.
Um, we replace again. We can discard once more. Ah, we really can't, if you want to be sure, right? We need that buy. Um. And we replace... this into a cemetery just to trash the curse yeah we're st we're still short unfortunately he's not gonna die again i mean but Oh, we should have replaced one ghost. Oh. He's not gonna not find his replace. Yep, there it is. Alright. Congratulations to Mick for winning yet another championship title. Um, this game was pretty interesting in the end. Um, we just didn't have the means to catch up. Yeah, that that throw in game three really did come back to bite us there. But that's what it is. Oh my god, what is this? What is this? Well, this is just... We're just playing for nothing now, so... Um... Maybe just silver donate. Um, Stuart donate. Let's go Stuart donate. Oh, he's got the 5 2. Alright. We donate down to Stuart and for coppers. Normally, we would need to think really hard about this. But there's nothing on the line anymore. Um, we don't want a monastery. This should be artisan, I believe. Then goons, some lost cities. Here a lost city. As a chariot race. It's alright. We can set up the lost city with our artisan. Now oh, he donates. Really late donate, but of course he did have a quite quite a different opening split from what we did have. Um, should this be another lost city? It should. Oh, he doesn't have a top deck. <laughs> Alright. Um, does not have a top deck. Top of deck. Goons now. Last city, last city. Um, this could be outpost time. Yep, outpost it is. Uh, 
then we just go for more lost cities. Could even be outpost donate, but no, nah, maybe not. Maybe just be just use the steward now. Um, Well, maybe it is actually worth it. Get another goons, donate. That was a quick one. Yeah, we were really far ahead there. Um, so into the last one we go. Maybe you can at least tie it up. This could be Puka. Could be Puka nothing. Could be Puka silver. I think I like Puka silver. Not taking the curse. Oh no, that's not actually possible, right? Puka silver. You would need the the other split. Um, goes for uh, this place, which is of course also nice. Um, I think I want the puka. Puka bazaar. And I'm gonna go into a this place as well. This is of course nice exiling the cursed gold. Um silver here. And we also gain a sauna at some point which can finish off the rest of our stuff. Yeah, let's get to this place. Here, if we trigger, we're gonna. That's fine. Another bazaar. We're just gonna play this Puka, I guess. Not buy anything. Uh, here, we're not gonna trigger. We want a sauna, or do we want another bazaar? Maybe just more bazaars. Can get the sauna now. Yeah. There goes our silver, I guess. Mm. Let's displace this thing into a sauna. Get another displace. Don't really need the sauna, do we? Now that we don't have a silver anymore. We can, of course, regain one. Scrying pool is something we would like to get as well. So maybe this could be potion. Um, yeah, it's definitely gonna be worth it. We're also just gonna take a curse for it. Maybe we can put a silver into this shuffle. We don't we don't really need to anymore. Yeah, we 
we can't. So we just do this. Um, this place, this this thing into something just a bizarre. This into an estate. Get a silver. Oh, this is fine. I mean, let's get a remodel. What's the sauna gonna do for us? some point we're gonna be using treasure maps maybe it should have been a second sauna to be honest probably should have we got to this places already Oh, he goes for a puka. All right. Eh, didn't find the puka here. Okay, let's get another sauna now. Just another bazaar. We might have to ditch the silver again, or maybe the potion. When did he get this potion? He's got so many scrying pools already. Turn 7. So we were a bit late to that party. Don't know why today is the day where we go for really late scrying pools. Five to one, yeah. Probably one of these bazaars should have been a potion. Oh, we didn't think too hard on it. Probably doesn't need another scrying pool now, yeah. Ah, look at that remodel doing nothing. And we're gonna replace it into a potion now. Uh, this place, I mean. Maybe displace the estate into another sauna that we put in there. Did not draw the potion. Um, this could just be an Avanto. Gonna be hoping to get double treasure maps this turn, maybe. Oh, 
I can start looping now with this, uh, this places. That's also a thing that scrying pool is gonna make really easy to do, right? <coughs> Looping your displaces. Yeah, just more treasure maps now. I guess, well, not more, but some treasure maps. Again, golds we displace into provinces. Sauna into gold. Alright. Guess this. Oh, now the silver will have to go. Do want another scrying pool? Uh, guess now is not well. We can. We can just do this. And probably we want another uh, Avanto now. Or maybe a raw blacksmith, right? Yeah, raw blacksmith. Might pretty easily fail to draw. Oh, look, he's not. He's not. He doesn't have problems drawing. So he doesn't seem to want to go the treasure map route probably doesn't need it right it's got enough golds oh, well he can just do this back and forth thing with his one gold um, so what he's doing is probably gonna su be superior to what we are doing We've really been trying to buy scrying pools, but somehow we ended up with only one. <laughs> oh, yeah, sad. There goes the royal blacksmith. There goes our sc scrying pool. So the, what's down there? Like four golds and an abanto. Huh. It's not gonna work. Well, the puka as well. Forgot about that one. So maybe it is actually gonna work. Alright. Hmm. Let's get more this places.
did not did not um play, oh, did not have enough stuff and so we do this do this um, need to get the golds back of course so we probably stop now uh, just a one to do we reap uh, we want the golds in deck. Well, let's see how many he can, how many of the provinces he can drain. Maybe he's even got a win. Uh, You can probably get two more. Is it gonna be good enough? Probably. Kindly, no. Will not let us keep the sauna. Oh, don't think it matters though. So he should get two more here. Does he have enough gold to buy one? I wonder. Oh, now oh, he he does have another this place. So four. He does have four. So, well, we can't quite catch him, can we? We need to puka one of these. Um, yeah, we could like three provinces, that's 30. We can get thir 36 at most. It's not gonna be enough. Or can we, if we displace for a model, it's gonna be one extra gain. Maybe we can tie. Uh, what's in our discard? Let's see, sauna. There's sauna, scrying pool, bazaar, avanto. Maybe we can. Um, sauna, bazaar, scrying pool, avanto. So let's try this. Excel for a remodel. Maybe we can at least tie. It would be good enough for me. Uh, I guess we don't have enough actions, do we? Which is too bad. Do this. Um, 
So just this into this, this into this. this into gold um with a province i don't know provinces well i mean we're kind of playing for the dot right which is not gonna happen if he draws he's not gonna have problems Ooh, wow. It was, however, well, <laughs> so much for that, right? Uh, a state we might need it. it was however probably a mistake to this to uh, put the golds back into our shuffle yeah that was that was a mistake for sure oh he's got it now All right, good games. Um, so, congratulations again to Mick for another title and also winning the championship match, not only drawing it. Oh, it was a fun experience playing in this. I I hope, well, there's something missing there. Uh, I think he wanted to wish us luck in the big money thing. Yeah, maybe we can win that one, which would be cool. It's gonna be next Thursday. So thank you everybody for watching and listening and see you there. Goodbye.